Good morning. Today is Friday, the 8th of January. My first cup. Um, and I'm going to go quickly through the comics that I picked up on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Really wasn't in the mood uh, last night and actually debated uh, with everything going on whether I should do this um, this week or not. But I um, decided to just go ahead maintain some semblance of normalcy. <coughs> These are um, alphabetical by publisher. Oh, we're going to start out with Resistors Reborn, um, which is a one-shot. This goes between uh, Volumes 1 and 2 of uh, J. Michael Straczynski's um, Resistance um, the series. This is from AWA a or the, the Upshot. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of this. This is uh, from DC. This is Generations Shattered number one. Um, this is the alternate cover I picked up. I absolutely love that. Uh, many of the same characters appear um, in uh, this uh, on, on this cover, but you can see it's more realistic. There's a Commandy, uh, Booster. Uh, the female Dr. Light, uh, Sinestro, Starfire, and uh, a Steel. I think I got everybody right. Oh, and uh, Batman. Um, anyways, this is, uh, it, it's convoluted. I haven't quite figured out where it's going. As I said, I'm right in the middle of it. It actually starts out with a commandy. And uh, something is uh, uh, disintegrating all the different uh, worlds. Uh, he is rescued by one particular hero and goes on and we see things like uh, the Linear Men, uh, Rip Hunter, um, the Legion and others who have appeared through different time periods. And it's one of those, uh, Commandy's job is to uh, assemble a gang, but he doesn't really know why. Uh, but he was given the mission, so he's undertaking it. <coughs> so as I say, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious as, again, this is supposed to be a lead-in. Uh, I think this leads into Future States. Uh, speaking of Future States, this is the only um, issue of that uh, event uh, that I picked up. This is Swamp Thing number one. Um, there were about a half dozen, I think. Uh, the ones I noticed were, were Wonder Woman, Flash, uh, the new Batman, uh, Superman of Metropolis. I think that was it. Um, unless I missed, oh, uh, Holly Quinn, <clears throat> I think. Um, it was really hard to distinguish since all of them have these uh, Wonder Woman 84 uh, variants. Um, so uh, I'm going to see. I, my uh, Right now, what I think I'll probably be doing is, with most of them, I'll probably pick him up uh, in, in the uh, inevitable uh, trade paperback uh uh, compilations, which will probably be out within the next, you know, four or five months. I mean, they're only, what, each each book is only either a one-shot or two issues, as far as I know. So I'll pro it's probably best just to wait and pick it up that way. Instead of picking up, you know, like a number one that I don't care for and, you know, find out. Okay, this is the final issue of Dark Knight's Death Metals. Um... This is num issue number seven. I love that cover. That is so cool. That old school Wonder Woman and the uh, the Wonder Woman that's introduced in Doc Metals. Um, <clears throat> this, I'm going to have to see if this leads into uh, the, sh the Shattered 
generations. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I should go back, read this, and then go back. I, I, think, I think that's all we'll do. And also from DC, we had the Dreaming Waking Hours. <clears throat> from IDW, we have Usagi Ujimbo, number 16. From Image, and Don Cates, Jeff Shore, uh, D. Kuniff, and John J. Hill. We have Crossover, number three. Uh, there's a couple of different variants. Uh, one features uh, one features Spawn, but I, I like this Transformer sort of cover. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> We have uh, Immortal Hulk, uh, King and it's it's King in Black, the Immortal Hulk, uh, number one. It's a one shot. <clears throat> we have Modok, number two. Which I'm I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, uh, uh, Pat Oswalt. Uh, is, is a co-writer on this. He adds some humor to it. Uh, I, I like it. Not exactly where it's going, but it's uh, it, it's fun. <clears throat> Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 22, which doesn't seem to be a uh, Dark Knight's uh, tie-in. <clears throat> we got... Uh, Going back to Dark Knight's tie-ins, we have Guardians of the Galaxy, number 10. I believe there is um, two more issues. I think number 12 is the last issues of uh, Guardians' current, current run. Uh, we got Spider-Woman, number 8. I have to go back. It looks like I may have missed uh, a couple of issues of this, and I don't know how, how I did. I thought I had that in my pull list. Uh, speaking of pull lists, we got Ultra, Ultraman, The Rise of Ultraman, uh, number five. This is five of five. It's the last issue of this, and this leads into the next, next arc, which is the trial, tri the trial of trials of, of Ultraman. Uh, naturally, we have uh, King in Black, Venom. Number 32, poor Eddie. And finally, uh, from IDW, and I, I'm not sure how I screw this up. Anyway, this is for IDW. This is Sleeping Beauties, uh, number five, The uh, written by Stephen King, his son Owen, and it's an adaptation of their uh, of the novel by the same name. Uh, <clears throat> that's it. Uh, really quickly, uh, I already talked about uh, Future States, uh, nothing really. I did not see Wonder Woman. Um, I probably, I probably will. I, I, I probably should. Um, just so I can give my yays or nays. I'm trying to stay away from uh, a lot of the spoilers, but at this point, uh, I guess you're expected to have already seen the the film, so uh, it's it's pretty impossible not not to have had the film spoiled. But still, um, I'm I'm not one of those persons who if they hear the spoilers they, they refuse to see the film because if the film is good I I get into it and I put I put that lot of stuff out of my head. Anyways, that is it uh, for me. Uh, stay safe, wear your mask, uh, do what you have to do uh, to protect yourself and your loved ones. And uh, knock on wood, we will see you next week and peace out.